Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up and by the end of the video, deploy a Bitscap grid crypto trading bot with the mission of accumulating Bitcoin in the form of profit. Now, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, it is an all-in-one trading platform that allows you to connect your exchanges via API keys to the platform, and then you can actually do day trading via your API keys. Again, you don't actually send money to Bitscap. Your exchanges are all connected to Bitscap through API keys, and therefore you don't have to jump back and forth between the different exchanges. Uh, they also offer arbitrage opportunities. Uh, you can demo trade or paper trade on the platform. Uh, but today we'll be taking a look at their grid bots. Now, if you're wondering what type of investment is required to get started, you can actually get started for free. They offer a 14 day free trial and I will drop a link in the description down below. And when you use my link to sign up, you will actually get the pro plan for free during that 14 day free trial. And the pro plan is the plan that I actually use. And after your 14 day free trial has expired, you can certainly start with the basic plan for $19 a month. And that will get you two active trading bots. Now, you may want to deploy more than just two active trading bots. So you could step up to the advanced plan and that would allow you to deploy five active trading bots. And in reality, I typically have somewhere between five to 10 grid bots deployed at any given time. So that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to configuring this bot. So once you log into the Bitscap platform, you'll want to go to the bots tab. And so the idea behind a grid trading bot is to be buying the dip down and then selling the rip back up into profit. And the red and green lines make up your grid. And the green lines are basically limit buy orders. So it's buying on the way down. And the red lines are limit sell orders. And so it sells on the way up into profit. And that profit is actually measured by the spacing between the grid lines. So let's get started with configuring our strategy. And in this case today, I will be choosing their classic bot strategy, which maximizes returns on a market that is moving up. And that is what I'm anticipating from this grid bot. And next I need to select my exchange. And so I have already connected a few exchanges to the platform. And in this case, I'm going to choose Binance and the pair I'll be trading today will be engine. And so I can type in the ENJ and I will be trading against BTC. And so by trading against BTC, I need engine to be outperforming BTC. And one indicator you can use to determine whether it's a good time to deploy altcoins versus BTC would be the Bitcoin dominance chart. And that's basically on TradingView, it's a BTC.D is the ticker symbol to come up with the Bitcoin dominance chart. And you can see Bitcoin dominance has been declining and more recently it's stepped down a little. And so with this decline in Bitcoin dominance, I'm looking for my altcoin, in this case, engine, to outperform Bitcoin. And I can take it a step further. Now, these are more like guidelines than actual rules. But if Bitcoin dominance is decreasing and Bitcoin's price is decreasing like it has over the last couple of days, the altcoins typically will be stable, which means they'll be moving sideways. Now, if Bitcoin dominance is decreasing and Bitcoin is stable, which it appears it might start to become stable. Then we could look at the altcoins to start to increase in value versus Bitcoin dominance. And then lastly, if the Bitcoin dominance is decreasing and Bitcoin's price is increasing, then we're in alt season. We're not there yet, but at the worst case, we'd be stable with the alts given the current parameters, or we could see some increasing prices for the alts. And that is why I'm looking to deploy this bot today. I might be a little early, but my ultimate objective of this bot is to actually be accumulating BTC on these moves up in the form of profit. So I'll be paid my profit in BTC, and that's how I accumulate more 
Bitcoin. And if I'm buying Ingen on the way down, well, I'm bullish on Ingen as well. It's not a crap coin. I don't trade crap coins. And Ingen is not a crap coin. It actually has a true use case. And that's why we've seen its price skyrocket recently. And that could be a risk because this has run up quite a ways. It certainly can pull back quite a distance. Now, with that all being said, let's get to the actual configuration of the lower and upper price limits. And so for my upper price limit, I like to bring that down into prior resistance. And in some cases, I might actually go lower than prior resistance because Bitscap offers a trailing up feature, which allows the grid to move up with the price if the price breaches the upper limit. And so I will enable that feature. And so now I have my upper limit in place with the trailing up enabled. And so now I need to bring in my lower price level. And I typically bring my lower price level into prior support. Now I could bring it into here, but that doesn't actually give my bot very much room to maneuver. So I'm bringing it into this prior support, which if I check my six and look back also was prior resistance. So now I have those levels set. I can work on my grid spacing and my grid levels but before I do, I'm going to go ahead and just give the back test button a click and see where I'm at. All right. So not too bad. I typically look for a 1% per day for profit. And over a three day period, I'm almost at actually 4% profit per day. Now, I got to take these results with a grain of salt as a lot of these results are going to be based on engines recent run up and choppy action that it's had. So I may not necessarily see that action going forward. So the typical warning applies back test results do not guarantee future results. However, it is part of doing your recon. And so far I like what I see. Now I'm going to tweak my grid levels to 49. That brings my grid spacing down to 0.58. Let's give it another back test and we improved the back test slightly. We'll give it one more shot at a higher grid level. Now, nope, I think we had it dialed in with the 49 grid levels and the 0.58 grid step. All right. So I feel comfortable with those levels. So we'll move on to the next options. The first option would be take profit. And I don't actually set that up for my bots. My bots are more long-term bots. I'm not looking for a quick three-day or two-day or one-day profit. I'm actually okay letting these bots run for a month, month and a half. Because again, the mission is to accumulate Bitcoin in the form of profit. I'm not looking for a 10% return in two days. I day trade for those type of returns. I don't deploy grid bots for those type of returns. But you could set your take profit to say 10% and the moment the bot hits the 10%, your bot will close and you'll close with a profit. Now the next option I do deploy and I'm a firm believer in a stop loss. And most of you who watch my videos are familiar with my view of a stop loss. And that view is not using a stop loss when trading is like going into battle without armor. Eventually you're going to get killed. So let's get this stop loss deployed and I'm going to bring that stop loss just down below this prior support level. And that should give this bot plenty of room to maneuver. And if we break through this stop loss level, I want the bot to stop. I will regroup and look at perhaps redeploying. And that is pretty much it for the settings other than the amount of ammo I'm going to give this bot to go to battle with. So the first thing I typically do is I grab onto the slider and I slide it all the way over until the box turns red. That means I'm not giving the bot enough ammo. So then I begin to slide the bar over until that red box goes away. And that puts me at 631 in USD level. I'm comfortable with that for this particular bot. So to recap, the strategy I selected was the classic bot. The exchange is Binance. The pair is engine BTC with the objective of accumulating BTC in the form of my profit. I gave the bot some ammo to go to battle with. My lower price has been set. The upper price with the trailing up, which will allow this grid to move up, is all enabled. 
My grid spacing is 0.58%. And so that would be the gaps between these lines. And my grid levels is a total of 49. Now, obviously, the sell limit order grid is smaller than the buy limit order grid. But that's because I have that trailing up feature turned on. So there'll be less grids on the sell side and I have more grid levels on my buy side. I do not have take profit enabled. I do have my stop loss set and enabled. We'll run one final back test and I'm hitting well within my 1% per day in profit. And again, back test results don't guarantee future results. And so let's get this bot deployed. I simply give the start button a click and it will let me know that it's necessary to buy 84 engine coins in order to create those limit orders, the red lines on the grid. It has to actually hold the engine in order to sell those for profit. So yes, go ahead and buy. You'll see the market order was placed for those engine coins. Order was instantly filled, typically the case on Binance. And the bot is live and active. And that pretty much wraps it up. It's extremely simple to deploy one of these grid bots. And I will do a update video in the near future on how this bot is actually performing. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. Also, if you like the video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop those down in the comment section below. I will drop a link to Bitscap in the description down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.